Howdy folks. I promise this is going to be a really short video. I swear. I'm going to show you a really neat, easy, cheap way to add a trellis into your grow bag for climbing vines like cucumbers and pole beans. Last year, when we had planted corn in our kiddie pools, we had gone out of town, there was a bad storm, and when we came back, I've shown this picture before in our kiddie pool series, but when we came back, the corn looked like this, which totally freaked me out, but we were able to save it, get it back upright, but at that point, the corn was so wobbly, I decided the best thing to do was to try to support it uh, keep it upright by supporting each individual bag. So I ran to Lowe's and got some garden wire. This is real lightweight, easy to use wire. And I made these little circular cages and wrapped them around the bag. Now this year, we are doing something different to protect our corn because although this held it up right, it did not protect it from the squirrels that ate every ear of corn we had. They climbed up it and back down and ate it all. So this year, we are building something that I think is fairly simple to do, and it's going to keep the corn upright and also keep the critters out. So all of these little wire cages are kind of useless now because I'm not gonna be using them. But, let me show you a real quick, easy way to make a trellis for your grow bags using this. So I'm recycling. I'm gonna show you a little trellis option for, for a grow bag. This is a seven gallon grow bag. I have it in a tray. It's a 24 inch tray and I've drilled a hole in the side. I'm out of room with my buckets, I'm out of room with the kiddie pools, and I have two things I need to plant. Um, but what I've done for the trellis, this is some um, wire that I actually used around my corn, and what I, I cut some of it out, and I left enough of these little pieces here that I could fold them back so that they will not scrape me. And I'm just gonna fit it in the bag like that. It's four foot tall. If I were gonna be growing cucumbers or green beans or something in this, I'd probably rather have it six foot tall because it's gonna grow that tall. This is actually a little experiment. I've got two of these up here in this, up in this garden bed and uh, I'm gonna put my tomatillas in it. These squares are too small for tomatoes, but I'm really just more concerned with having something to help hold my stake, because I'll put a really tall stake in the center when I plant it, and I can tie off my stake to this. We'll see how it does. So, at this point, I'm gonna try to do this in this tray without making a mess. Just put your sloppy wet mix in there and go ahead and fill your bag like you normally do. There we go. That's got it nice and secure. Two inches in the bottom and I can go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way. And here are my tomatillas planted. I did add the center support as I discussed earlier. And I haven't had to tie off the center support to the trellis yet. But it is interesting to note, I'll show you up close. Even though I thought the holes in this trellis were probably too small for tomatoes, you can see here the vine is starting to grow outside of the cage. So it might work just perfectly fine for tomatoes. Hey y'all, I did it. A video in under five minutes. I only have like 15 seconds to say goodbye, so goodbye. Have a good one.